Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to the start of a brand new adventure series. Now, in the previous adventure series, we ended up having a submarine-only run, so this time, we're going to be doing the exact opposite. Instead, looking to the heavens and trying to go into space, and then once we're there, stay there for the entirety of the adventure mode playthrough, which, honestly, sounds a lot easier than it is, in my opinion, because getting into space can be difficult in the adventure mode, that's some weird stuff going on in the background there. But then also making sure that your vehicle is combat capable and everything else and you can see what's going on since you're so far high up into the sky. I think this is going to be a serious challenge and it could go wrong so, so easily. Currently, my thinking is that we start the series and we start off by making some kind of thruster craft or a plane or just something which can make the transition into the skies a little bit easier. So, let's just get straight into it. My goal for this episode is to make a functional plane or thruster craft or something like that and just make sure we can start harvesting resources. After that, well, space. And so we begin, and there we are in our little raft. So first things first, as always, is to just get the basics sorted, so we need to start harvesting everything. So I'll probably be skipping quite a lot of this in the editing because I have done this so, so many times at this point. So we have an engine, we have some storage, oh, we already had some storage, and then we can start harvesting as we rock around horribly. Then I need to start figuring out how exactly I'm going to make a small plane. Making a small sub or a small hovercraft or a small boat, I think I could do quite easily, but planes I'm surprisingly bad with, especially more compact ones. Let's try that again. There we go. Well, I'm glad you can still harvest through the boat. Yep, this is off to a good start. Oh, that's good. Third person camera is now just enabled in adventure mode. It's no longer a cheat you have to do by going like this. Which means I can now actually look out for things and it's not cheating because it's part of the base game. Lovely. Although, to be perfectly honest, a lot of people used to do that anyway and I wouldn't really consider it cheating. It's just making the game look a lot better so you can actually see what's going on. I just stuck with it because I'm dumb, more so than anything. Okay, now I need to make this thing transform into a plane. I uh, guess we can make it into a hydro. So, if I extended... Like a crude body first, just so I have a vague idea what on earth I'm doing. Then pop this down. Then we can have hydrofoils on here, maybe a couple of small propellers just to keep us up in the water. Then we can have all the actual wings and stuff on top, including the, the thrusters for control. To begin with, I am going to most likely try and make this manually controlled, which might be a terrible idea, just with a really strong PID. So it's manual controlled with an anti-dumb switch, because it's me in control, and after all, I'm going to need a lot of anti-dumb. Okay, really weak roll controls, then I'll have some really weak push controls later. It's not really needed right now since we are made of wood, but eventually that will be required. Kind of making the body a bit too big here, but don't really care. The first thing is just getting this thing airborne and controllable. I don't really care too much about what it looks like or the future of it right now. It's just, once the enemies get here, I want to be able to move. Okay, I think I've solved the problems. So, the PID is pretty nice, but it's not like hovercraft level. It uses its wings for flying and everything else. Its speed is okay. If I manually control, as you can see, we can have some seriously sharp turns. But if I let go, then the PIDs take back over, and we stabilize. This also goes for moving forwards and backwards. There we are, and the PID takes back over. There are some issues with roll at full speed, but I can actually manually control- Oh, it's because I'm running out of engine power. Okay, that's a very easy problem to fix. Yeah, it's running out of engine power, so it's not sure how to distribute that. But we can fix that by adding some proper stuff with the surface controls. Okay, heading towards the next resource zone already. Things are looking pretty good, actually. Added a little bit more engine power. It's now very stable at 55 meters per second. Only a slight gain in altitude. That'll level out in a second. I 
actually quite like this craft. Gotta be honest, so far, it's pretty fun. So now with this resource, we need to actually make it combat ready though, so we can at least do some hit and run action. I'm thinking torpedoes. I think that would be super fun. Well, I was just about to say, look, I've made this thing more bug-like, and a couple of enemies are on the horizon, or at least one of them is. I thought it was two. Ah, oh, there's three. So that's the monkey barrel, I think, whatever it's actually called. Then... Small missile craft. Uh, for now, I think the best bet... Wow, this thing is really balanced, what? Okay, sorry, I'm a little bit shocked. I just took off early. I was still working on it. Um, although we have finished off the resource zone, I was... Yeah, forced out a little bit quickly. Apparently all the PID stuff has stuck quite well. Wow, we're really high up and it's still above us. Uh, we could try and fight this thing. It has cram cannons or small missiles? But it's very, very weak. If it's the thing I'm thinking of, I think just a regular, small, simple weapon might be enough to take it out, is my thinking. I know it's a bit weird putting it like this, but still. Just so it's higher up. There we are. It's a bit far away, so this stuff might not make many hits here, but in return, it's not going to hit us. Oh, that was pretty atrocious accuracy. Yeah, this thing sits at a really high altitude. Though our little dragonfly is doing quite well. I always end up making everything insectoid. I don't know what it is. Now, this weapon sadly has a 30 second reload. But the next time we should be a lot closer, so it should do more damage. What, what sort of weapon do you have? Or is it bombs? Slow down a little bit. Let's go straight for the core. Oh, I think I might have messed up on the engines. Uh, one of them's overheated, which shouldn't be possible. Okay, I'm just going to go slowly like this and try and fix that engine problem before it becomes more of a problem. At least we got our first kill. I really love how this thing's turned out so far. There's so much left to do, though. At low speeds, this thing turns actually surprisingly well. Just... Whee! That's okay. I've decided, though, I am going to stay and fight against that little missile enemy. Which means I'm gonna have to put the weapons on the bottom. I'd actually had some um, resource storage there, non-permanently attached to the bottom then. I guess just like next to each other like this. It looks goofy as anything, but if we, if we can get another kill, that'll be such a good start for us. Right now I am going really slowly because I don't want to rush in and accidentally just die straight away. Oh, missiles are not good though. Uh, is it worth it? You know what? Sure. Those are some short-range missiles. But I don't think we're going to be able to outrange it with our little weapons anyway. Are they guided or not? I don't know what they are. Honestly, after looking at it briefly, to me, they look like small just unguided no because I can't see a turret I was going to say they're unguided missiles so rockets but I can't see a turret maybe we'll just burn through all this ammo missiles are not cheap but I'm also running out of materials so can't really play that game sadly Definitely looking guided. Oh, yeah, sorry, at the front. There it is. Okay, must have entered a new zone then. That lagged out. I've lost a wing. And annoyingly, I can't hold down fire and press any, any of the controls. I don't know why. It just doesn't let you do that in this game. Yes, okay, we killed it. How much damage did that do to us in the process? Just shattered our wings. Well, doesn't too bad. That could have been a lot worse if we hit our core. Okay, let's find a resource zone. I need way more resource before we go to the next area. 
If I try and save up 20k, then I'll go up to the next difficulty. Ooh, hello, little enemy. Aren't you teeny? Three kills. Two resource zones, and we have an enemy as well. A tiny little one. Have they finally fixed it so the adventure mode first zone only spawns in the smaller craft? So many nightmarish moments of godly craft just appearing out of the blue and just destroying me. Also, this vehicle controller being here is really irritating when trying to aim like this. Please let's destroy this in one go so I can land. Or just float above the ring anyway. Well, hopefully that just disabled it anyway so I can just go and sit there and harvest a resource. Also, controlling a plane like this is so weird in comparison to the hovercraft. It's hard to explain, but it is really disconcerting every time you try and do anything. Oh, and I stopped, like, dead where I wanted to. That's rather lovely. It's so boring just waiting for that to recharge. So I'm going to go out and let's see if we can kill this enemy over here. Ooh, big enemy. Is that the Jacob's Folly? Never mind, I'm going after that instead. This little one, I don't even know if it has weapons. If it does, it... Oh, no, it can fire something. Too bad, I'm going to have the bigger target. Game's lagging a bit. Also, yeah, that brightness glitch is getting really annoying. Whoa, okay, I thought it fired at the other one. Guess who was not paying attention. Okay, my weapons are stupidly short range and have a horribly long cooldown, so I'm not wasting shots until we're a bit closer. Just keep ducking and diving. The problem is when I start firing, I'm not going to be able to actually steer the craft because that's just the joy of these controls. Ooh, that isn't what I thought it was. I actually don't know what there is. I think there are its weapons on the front there. It's got like a huge wheel on the front. Is it a ramming craft? I have no idea what that is. I legitimately don't have a clue what that is. Try and stay behind it either way. What is that? Oh my god, that is so cool. I actually think I may have seen that briefly at some point, but I still don't really know what it is. Slowing down. Huh. That is so weird. So, so weird. Can destroy and stay at the same spot now, just attacking the same spot. Here's the problem with being a proper plane and not just a hovercraft. I can't just stay exactly still, otherwise I'm going to start losing altitude. Even at this speed, I'm slowly losing altitude. Oh, to kill it! AI did! Oh, we could have stole it! Either way. Showing these simple weapons can be really deadly versus the very first enemies. Well, that was a very nice haul indeed. There's a duel happening in the distance. I've added a couple more weapons to the bottom of this craft, just to make it a bit more hit and run. And, yeah, so it's a missile craft using... ...really quick missiles. Versus an old school ship. The missiles are going to be much more of a threat to us. I haven't even seen the other ship fire yet. Oh, okay, just uh, entered a new chunk. Yeah, let's just go straight for the missile craft. Hopefully it doesn't kill the other one before we get there, because it's being distracted right now. I feel like we're going to have one chance to knock it out, because those missiles actually seem pretty nasty. Lots of stuff being knocked off, and we are very frail. 
Now, if we lose our wings, that's not really the end of it because we are still thruster craft. Alts have to manually take control, but we can still fly literally without the wings. It's just way more fuel intensive. Okay, weapons on the front, so. Hopefully that'll be enough. They're still firing. And that was us done, but good amount of damage. Still not aiming at us, so I'm going to stay in the area, wait for the 30 seconds, then try again. Okay, now for the larger ship, which doesn't seem to be able to actually hit us, so that should be fairly easy. I just have a feeling like I want to destroy all the masts. Because that's entertaining to me. Beautiful. Okay, we're at 20k. That's when I said I was going to leave. Oh, actually, now I think about it. I bought some more weapons, so I could have left anyway. So we're going towards a red portal now, and we're going to retrofit ourselves to have more permanent weaponry. So I'm thinking on top we have just... On top or maybe on... I don't really know, but somewhere we're going to have one small anti-aircraft weapon, but then we're probably going to load ourselves with lovely, lovely torps. Oh, I did leave a corpse over there. Okay, grab corpse, go through the red portal. I have no idea how often I should go through the red portals, but honestly, I want to become a spacecraft soon. I think once we have about 100k worth of, sh of a craft, of ship, I was going to say then, I think then probably we should go to space and then stay in space forever. But for now, it's nice being a plane. Unless people really want to see more plane stuff, but I've done so much just regular aircraft stuff in the future, in, in the past. Maybe in the future as well. In the present. At all times. Future Lathrix, past Lathrix, current Lathrix. We like flying things. That's a nuke, isn't it? Also, that thing's badly damaged. Oh, well, we didn't get to test out our torps on this target then. But we did get some free uh, resource, so... Sure. Yeah, I have, I have now set up the torps. I'll just fire some anyway. They get thrown down quite quickly. They go in the water. I think everything's going to be okay. But we do need to be lower to the water before we fire them. Which is actually quite difficult. This thing glides too well. There you go. We're now at 3% drive. There we go. Finally losing altitude. It's going to make using this thing a bit difficult. That's with a lot of ejectors. Also, we did not pick up all the resource then. I did not know wings were this strong. I'm on 3% drive right now. And I'm gaining altitude. 3% percent I am using less than a hundred engine power and this thing is maintaining altitude it's slightly listing to the right and I think I know what's causing that but yeah just I didn't realize wings were this good now of course their weaknesses they are incredibly fragile but still I also need to add some smaller weapons. Um, there's a really small enemy over there, which I literally can't hit with these torps, because these torps won't register it as a target. I mean, it's probably not the best thing to do, you know, cutting off wings mid-flight, but it's the kind of thing I would do. Ooh, lord. Okay, um, cutting off wings mid-flight while also taking away all of its roll capability. Thankfully, right now, it's rolling is quite simple when moving this slowly. Will they survive long enough? So why are these so much faster than the others? Did I make them as big a bum stag? Hello! Ooh, that's some nice explosions.
All glory to the Missile King. You bring joy to the Missile King when the life leaves your eyes. You know, I think we need to up the difficulty again and then go to space. We already have enough resources. So I'm going to call the episode here. It's been a fun just getting back into the swing of things kind of episode. But at the same time, that was insanely easy. We got very lucky with a lot of stuff this early on. Just so grab all the resources. Let's increase speed so we can actually, you know, fly. Again, I'm still getting used to the fact that forward momentum equals lift. Because I'm so not used to wings. So in the next video, we're either going to go straight to space or we're going to have one more episode as a plane. Um, I will leave it up to the comments for that. I'll be more than happy to do either. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video like I have, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris and that from the depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I did that like three or four times. The intro, I called it Kingdoms and Castles. At one point, I think I called it Terra Tech. My mind isn't here. Likes and comments means you want to watch more From the Depths. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. I need some sleep. And I may get some food. <laughs> Goodbye. I've really enjoyed today.